What's going on guys, my name's GT, and welcome to the first episode of SND Sundays. I know I said I was going to do this a while back, but honestly I never got around to it. But since I decided I was going to bring you the series now, let's just get into it. So here is the gameplay, it's a Discovery Search and Destroy, I'm using the FAL. And we're about to come up to the first key key moment here and it's when this guy I killed this guy right here so first of all what I did here was first of all I heard him on my turtle beach x11s because he wasn't using ninja so I heard him and then I saw him jump to the left and I pretty much just killed him finished him off there and here is another key moment here I pause it here so I have time to talk while the key moment is, is happening so if you see that little skull right next to my iron sights that means some your teammate has died there that means there's an enemy there, so I'm aware that there's an enemy there, so I throw a flash over here. So no one, just in case someone's there, they're flash, and I can make my way across safely. So I know there's an enemy here, and look, there he is. He just killed one of my teammates, sadly, but, you know, we could recover from that. And I actually joined this game late, so we're down 0-2, to two, so I know we need to pick it up a bit. So here I pick up the bomb, and as you see... Couple seconds ago, when I pick up this guy 74U, a weapon cancel. Weapon cancels are very important. You can do them by pressing YY. It's it's very useful, especially in Search and Destroy where you everything counts. And uh yeah. <laughs> so we won that round and we're just about to come up to the next round. Yeah, in a couple seconds. And there you go. So we're on defense now. And I'm still using the same setup. The CZ do with FAMAS. I mean, not FAMAS. FAL. Do my and I just break the window. You know, I don't know. I honestly don't know why, but. And I break the sun window so I can get out. <laughs> so. I'm just looking down the map because a lot of people here. And, uh. There's another key moment. I actually try to trick this guy. But my teammate gets the assist there. Wasn't really a key moment, but whatever. Here's a key moment. As you can see. Uh, a couple seconds ago, I'll rewind it here. My teammate, not there, but. <laughs> and a couple seconds. Yeah, my teammate just died there. Another skull appeared, so I know that there is an enemy nearby. And I look at the kill feed, and. Not the knife. The I see that a sniper has been killed. A sniper kill. Killed my teammate. That was weird. Anyway, so. I know he has to be far, and I see him right there. Another key moment here is using my tactical grenades. Tactical grenades are very useful, especially in these situations here where I'm at a slight disadvantage since uh, he has the upper hand and I shot unsilenced weapon. And it's a semi automatic weapon. So I throw a flash and I throw the grenade. I cook it so he has no time to throw it back. See if I can get the hardened kill, but nope, my grenade finishes him off, which is good. Now I have a spy plane. Now here's another key moment, uh, map awareness. I know that's a very heavily traffic spot, so I put a jammer there. This is also a heavy traffic spot, and there's another guy. Now here's another key moment, awareness, as I keep saying. Awareness is very important. I see a skull. That means team manager just died. So I look at the kill feed to see what weapon killed my teammate. And it was apparently a ballistic knife. So I know I'm at advantage because this guy's using the ballistic knife. So I turn around the corner and there he is and he gets FAL to the face, to the body. So now I have a napalm which is very helpful. Helpful. And after this I know I have to clutch it because it's a 1v, it was a 1v3 but then I killed two guys and then I hear this guy and I kill him, I finish him off. So yeah. Good. Next round here, a couple seconds. Sorry you can't see the kill cams is in theater mode so. Now I know I have a napalm, but you can't call it in for I think it's 15 seconds or 13 seconds. I'm not sure. So I go in this corner. I think my teammate tries to trap me or something. But so I look at him, give him a dirty look. <laughs> but I call him this napalm, just along the catwalk to the right near B, because I saw a blimp there. And uh, another key moment here: awareness. As I keep saying, as you can see. A couple seconds ago, I'm gonna rewind it here. Right after calling my napalm here, my teammate dies and that skull appears. So I know a, a teammate's there. So I, th 
a good enemy, I mean. So I throw a nade. I use my counter spy plane, my spy plane, and there he is. I got sort of lucky on that, but, you know, paid off. So I throw down our jammer. The jammer is a really underused equipment, but I love it. I'll go over that in another video. But, yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to go around here. So this is where I make my mistake. I get cocky here. And pretty much, I get MP5 to the face. Now, let's review that mistake one more time. As you can see here, I'm using FAL. And the enemy that killed me was using MP5. I was a, at a real disadvantage, first of all, because I was sprinting to get up to him, and then he just kills me. So let's look at it from his perspective, shall we? So this is right after he kills me. So there's a counter up. And then he turns around because he realizes that, and there I am. Yes. And he just hip fires me. As you can see, that was such an easy kill. Let me rewind it one more time for him because there's no chance against his MP5K. You never want to go chasing after people like that. I made a very stupid mistake, and I paid for it. So I'm just going to fast forward this the rest of the round. Yeah. Just fast forwarding, and uh, here we go. So we're still on defense. I get mad, so I knife that. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I go back to A because I know it's a highly traffic spot in this game. I throw another jammer down, but that that was a terrible jammer's place. You want to usually use the jammer when you're next to a place that you know has equipment. And um, there's a mistake I just made right here. Not there. Yeah, so I know there's a skull there, but and I see the blimp on my mini map there. But I don't go after him. I have no idea why. I have to focus on this guy on the bridge. It's a very, very big mistake there because he's at our spawn and he could just easily flank us, which is very bad. But I get this guy, but thank God our teammates got that one guy over there. So that's good. So I go back to this one place, throw an A there, no luck. And I go back to the bridge. Now, as you can see in that window, just past, see right there, that guy with ghosts. I know I have Harden, so I try to wallbang him. I fail, but then I stay, stay in the same spot. That's a big mistake. I just pause it here, so big mistake. That guy could easily have a sniper and just like get an easy headshot on me. So I stay there for a little bit, and I realize that mistake I made, so I go back. But then another mistake I make, I go back to the same spot and just fire more unsilenced shots. So then I go away, uh, smartly enough for me, and um, there's another mistake. I try to destroy the bridge thing, no idea why, but that's pretty much just game away on my location. It's a 3v2, and after that, I just decided to go after them. Yeah, I just uh, just decided to go after them. Uh, another mistake here, as you can see, another cancel there. Another mistake here was, I know I'm chasing after them, but I got a little cocky. But thank God the uh, they weren't too good. So I flash them once again. Tactical nades. Uh, I shoot this guy in the face with a headshot, and then I see that claymore. But it's flash, and this guy's flash. So I get him. So I hope you guys enjoyed this SND Sunday. If you want more of it, just leave it in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.